Good evening. Finally stopped raining. Praise the Lord. It was bad. I mean, it was windy and the wind was howling and we got some sun for a while. It's supposed to rain tomorrow too, so. If you're in the Tarrant County area, enjoy the sun while we have it. I have an article that came out from Warners 247. You do have to translate it. <clears throat> First, the good news. While we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, Titus 2, verse 13. That day is coming fast. Every day that we're here is a day to plant a seed, to share the gospel. Time is running out. We're, we're on borrowed time. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean, past, present, future. Jesus is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to God the Father. And when you repent and you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, not only are your sins are washed clean, but he indwells in you. He guides you. He strengthens you. He is our everything. He's our best friend. And remember, we're going to meet at the marriage supper. I'll be looking for you. Is it going to be this year? I pray it is. <clears throat> I've always said, now I'm not saying for sure the rapture is going to happen this year. I mean, it's looking pretty good like it could, but we, we don't know, you know. But time is short. I've always said, I don't know why, but 2024 keeps sticking in my head. I said that all last year. Walk with Christ. Do not put your faith and trust in these world leaders. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. There's, there's no world leader that's going to fix this problem. In fact, it's going to keep getting worse. And worse and worse. But we're not going to be here much longer. <clears throat> time is short. Time is short. Sorry, my mother just texted me. This is one is two four seven. It says a large scale NATO operations in the Mediterranean Sea. Green light in Kiev for an attack on the Kerch K E R C H bridge with A T A C M S M S. Taurus cruises are key. Ukraine and NATO are preparing for a major attack against Russia. Oh boy, look up, guys. This is not good. Against Russian air bases in Crimea and the Kerch bridge, according to American media. Washington gave a green light, quote-unquote, <clears throat> to Kiev for an attack on the Kerch Bridge with 300 km ATACMS missiles. Key will be the delivery of tourist cruise missiles to Ukraine. The British admitted that this is also the main reason why they are pressuring Germany and Olaf Schultz to deliver tourist cruise missiles to Ukraine. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The British expert explains <clears throat> why in the following, quote, They are better than storm shadows. More teeth fly lower, and the warhead can penetrate bridges, and especially the carriage bridge. They make a difference. That is why Saltz refuses to give them. He knows, <coughs> excuse me, I just said dairy, I'm sorry. He knows that the Ukrainians will destroy the carriage bridge and this will be an escalation step. I got a video here. Oh, somebody, uh, uh, a sister in Christ, it was, I can't remember if it was a brother in Christ or sister in Christ, mentioned uh, a certain lost nurse for me to take. I am going to try and take that. Um, I have bad allergies. Um, I'm on an allergy, um, ouchie, that they say takes four months to work. We'll see if that works. Um, I'm on two different kinds of sinus nasal spray. I'm on um, sinus medicine. But um, one, my, both of my um, aunts on my dad's side have it. My grandmother had it. My dad. I remember one time we were taking my aunt on the way back to the airport, and she had that same cough, cough. And I said, okay, what dairy did you eat? She goes, it's the creamer for the coffee. So we all have that, and dairy makes it worse. Plus, it's the nasal drip and a small esophagus. So I do apologize for the coughing. I'm, and believe me, it's, an, <laughs> it's annoying for me, too. <coughs> <clears throat> but I am going to try those lozenges. So I'm, I'm, I'm willing to try anything to see, you know, something works. I hope. Major NATO air activity in the Black Sea. In this context, <clears throat> for the past 48 hours, a large NATO air activity has been recorded in the Black Sea. The Russian think tank, Rybar, relieved, revealed, I'm sorry, that there was an extensive use by Ukraine of decoys. 
which with the help of NATO surveillance aircraft mapped the location of every air defense system in Crimea. According to Russia, <coughs> excuse me, yesterday evening, the Ukrainian Air Force launched ADM-160 mauled missile and three axis towards Crimea. Sevastopol and Sevastopol Kerch to locate the air defenses and radar systems. ADM-160 mauled <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Are used as "quote unquote" decoys against radars in order to provoke the reaction and activation of anti-aircraft systems in order to locate them. American UTS. <coughs> Excuse me. P8A, MQ9A, Reaper, British RC-135V aircraft, also French E. <coughs> Excuse me. Three F, AWACS, accompanied by. Rafale fighters are conducting operations. I'm sorry, one second. They are conducting operations close to the Russian border, while a British reconnaissance aircraft came within 230 kilometers from Sevastopol, and French AWACS 190KM from Sochi. P 8A Poseidon Naval Cooperation aircraft and RQ 4B reconnaissance drones. Flew in the air, the area west of Crimea. <coughs> but at the same time, seven NATO reconnaissance and surveillance aircraft were flying in the Black Sea region, such as E 3F <coughs> radar. This is so annoying. I'm so ready for this to be over. <coughs> I apologize. Radar flying. Two times Airbus A 330s, 24, 243 MR 22, Boeing P 8A Poseidon. Boeing RC-135W Rivet Joint and Northrop Grumman RQ-4B Global Hawk. <coughs> now, yesterday, the intensity of NATO fights did not increase. Did not decrease, I'm sorry. As of evening, a U.S. RQ-48 drone was operating south of the Crimean Bridge, while an Italian <coughs> G550 electronic data collecting aircraft was operating over the Black Sea. Yeah. Yeah. My opinion, we're already in World War Three. I mean, that's my opinion. But we have to wait until they officially announce it, you know. At the same time, according to the, Rus to the Russians, NATO satellites are looking for Russian air defense positions all over the peninsula. So in summary, the following happened in just the last few days. <clears throat> the first one, increased activity of the NATO Air Force. Second one. ADM-160 mauled missiles launches towards Crimea. Third one, high-intensity aerial photography operations of the Crimean surface. The number of registration periods has doubled compared to the average, indicating possible preparations for new attacks. And what did the U.S. do? Well, we've got elections coming up. We know what they're going to do. <coughs> they give the green light for Ukraine to hit Crimea with ATACMS missiles. Oh, boy. According to... Nexta, N-E-X-T-A TV, signing a New York Times report, the United States has given permission to the armed forces of Ukraine to strike facilities in Crimea with a long-range ATACM miss missiles recently given to Kiev. The relevant information was allegedly given to the New York Times by a U.S. Pentagon official. <coughs> I agree with Watchwoman 65, 100% this country wants war. They want war. I said it before, I'll say it again. I mean, I hate to say this, but Joe Biden ain't going nowhere. And believe me, it's not because he has the popular vote. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> he doesn't. He never did. We know who's really calling the shots. <clears throat> now, I could be wrong. <clears throat> but, guys, I've always said 2024 keeps sticking in my head. We're about to run into some even tougher times. So, remember, remind yourself why this is happening. Get the Bible out, put in the form of God, be strong in prayer. Because I promise you, whatever we go through between now and the rapture, the Holy Spirit is by you and we'll get you through. Think about everything you've gone through in life. All those times you ran into difficult times and you didn't think you'd make it through. God got you through. <clears throat> and where is the badge of honor? Satan isn't going to focus on the ones he already has. Why is he going to focus on them? He already, he already got them. He's going to go after the ones that are a threat. 
That's us. <clears throat> the goal of ATACMS is to put more. I don't know if that's how you, if you're supposed to spell that out or if that's a word. I don't know. <laughs> is to put more pressure on Crimea, Pentagon officials said. Quote, Ukrainian forces are able to use recently delivered long-range missiles to effectively <clears throat> attack Russian forces in Crimea, noted the New York Times. According to U.S. media, Kiev has received 100 of those missiles with a range of 300 kilometers. However, yesterday morning, traffic was interrupted in various parts of Crimean Peninsula, such as Sevastopol, and on the Crimean Bridge. Later, it became known that the passage of cars on the Crimean Bridge was suspended for 37 minutes. Moscow had information that an attack was imminent. Oh, boy. <coughs> All hell's about to break loose. It hasn't because the restrainer's still here. I've always said I think the rapture and everything's going to happen all at once. U.S. pressures Germany to send Taurus to Ukraine. The U.S. administration hopes its recent decision to send long-range missiles to Ukraine will encourage Germany to do the same with the Taurus. <coughs> Something Berlin has so far ruled out, a U.S. official said Thursday. On the Taurus issue, the decision is up to Germany. A senior U.S. Defense Department official said yesterday, speaking on condition of anonymity, when asked about the possibility of Berlin sending such German-made missiles to Kiev, quote, but certainly the supply of these ATACMs <clears throat> by the U.S. and the previous decisions by the United Kingdom and France to provide to Ukraine long-range missiles, we hope will play a role. Kiev had been asking Germany for months to supply the Ukrainian military with Taurus cruise missiles, which has an effective range of up to 500 kilometers. Berlin, however, so far refused to proceed with sending missiles of this type, fearing an escalation. Well, I, I mean, yeah, it will escalate. But you know what? I think whether they send them or not, this is going to escalate. <clears throat> and then they got a map here of NATO air activity in the Black Sea. <clears throat> Guys... All I can say is, armor up and look up. <clears throat> I know I keep saying that. And yeah, it's a bummer that we're still here. It is. But we got to remember God's timing is perfect. There could be a family member friend that still needs to be saved. And we need to be using our time here to be sharing the gospel. How much Jesus Christ loves us. How much our Heavenly Father loves us. The sacrifice he made for us. And to warn people of what's to come. And you know what? When we warn people, yeah, 90% 90, 90 of the time they look at us like we're one fry short of a happy meal. Oh, they've been saying that for that. Every generation thinks they're going to be the one that's going to see the return of Jesus. Everything goes the same. Just how it always has. That's in the Bible, too. They will be mocking and scoffing. Where's the promise of his return? You guys are crazy, man. Well, they thought the same thing with Noah. Wasn't that crazy when the flood came, was it? <clears throat> the rapture's going to happen in the blink of an eye. And if you're left here, that's it. You're here for seven years and you don't want to be here. You do As bad as things are now, it's nothing compared to when a good's taken out of the world, how bad it's going to be. And Satan has full reign of the world. You don't want to be here, man. You don't want to be here. So keep reminding yourself why this is happening. We're just waiting, sitting on G, waiting on O. We're waiting here, come up hither. Dan, come up hither. Melissa, come up hither. Deanna, come up hither. Oh. It's going to be soon. We don't know when. I mean, there's there are some people. That, if, if anybody ever says, okay, rapture's going to happen this week, rapture's going to happen this day, don't listen to them. Because nobody knows the day or the hour, but only the Father. Now, saying it's going to happen this year, is that set in a day or hour? No, it's not. But, I mean, I got to be really careful when you say that. I mean, yes, things are lining up like it could happen this year. But what if it doesn't, you know? When the end of the year comes, people will be really dis disappointed. I'm not going to say for sure the rapture is going to happen this year. But it's looking like there's a good possibility. But I do not see us being here. Not, I, I don't see us being here another three years. I don't. I do not see us being here another three years. 
it's going to be soon. So, like I say in all my videos, I know life's tough. I, you know, you may be going through a lot of, a lot of struggles right now. <clears throat> I don't understand exactly everything you're going through, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I understand what it's like to struggle and to not have anybody, you know, to come home to. I mean, I have my mother, but you, you know what I mean. To struggle on a daily basis financially. It seems like that you just run in circles and you just get nowhere. <clears throat> you know, just, um, sorry. Just struggling and struggling and struggling. Working hard. And you just can't make ends meet. Nobody to share how your day went, you know, to talk to about that. <clears throat> but remember, excuse me, goes back to <clears throat> Satan knows. I'm sorry, one second. I had to pause the video. I didn't want to cough like that in the video. Satan knows his time's up. <clears throat> he is, and his minions are attacking Christians. And they know where to attack each family. They know where to attack each person. So much that all of the above button like me. You know, maybe it's financially. Maybe it's medically. It's, I'm like, you got an all of the above button. Yes. <clears throat> but I promise, I promise you, you're going to get there. Where does a badge of honor mean you're a threat? You say, you know what? You need to leave right now in Jesus' name. I know why this is happening. I'm a threat, ain't I? Well, you were defeated at the cross. You need to leave in Jesus' name. <clears throat> it just makes me stronger. But I know we're all, we're all praying it happens soon. You know, it's, <clears throat> life's tough, and it's, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's going to keep getting tougher. But that's not doom and gloom because we're going home soon. It's not like this is the 60s or 70s or 80s or even early 90s i got many, 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 many more years to go. We're not going to be here many, many more years. We're about to leave. So all this is almost over. Just hang in there. Satan wants you to give up. He's not going to win. He has no power and authority over you. And we're all meeting at the marriage supper. I mean, <clears throat> sometimes we don't understand why things happen the way they do, but we put our faith and trust in our Heavenly Father. I mean, I understand when it's, when the weather's like this, I mean, I can't deliver in this weather. That's money I'm losing. But you know what? Think about it. Doesn't everything always work out? It does. <clears throat> You'll get, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. One of these days I won't be coughing in the videos, I promise. I'm going to believe in Jesus' name that this theology doctor, this is going to work. And, but, um. I'm going to go in and talk to my daughter. I'm staying here with her tonight because I don't want her to be in the house alone. So keep looking up, family. Keep listening. And at, don't worry. You're going to get there. We're not going to be here much longer. I'm sorry the video was so long. I love you. I can't wait to meet you. God bless you, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful weekend.